Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to 2018. My name is David Telford. I'm the Director of Information Services at Edinburgh Napier University, and I'm also the chair, current chair of USAISA. And so I get the nice bit of welcoming you to uh, Bournemouth for our three days at the conference. I'm looking forward to it. You hear a bit more about it from Heidi shortly, and it's, uh, it's looking like a fantastic three days, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've got a couple of housekeeping pieces. Um, the first one, you'll all be aware that you're wearing badges, um, and I know many of you have attended before, but could I ask you to look out for green badges? These are new delegates who haven't been to a USAISA conference before, and if you get a chance, speak to them, say hello, welcome them, and, uh, and another one to watch out for is the purple badges at Snake Exec members, and we're always happy to talk to you about the conference, about what's going on, or indeed what's happening with USAISA Exec itself. The other thing to note is we have a prize draw. Um, Please go around your ven vendors, get the stamps in the book. The prizes are worth it, I believe. Um, that's sponsored by Q Associates, and uh, all the vendors will be very happy to see you, and I'll certainly be spending some time with them as well. Um, we've got a couple of things to kick off the, the conference that I'd like to raise with you. The first one is I'm going to talk a little bit about USAISA, so apologies if some of you know quite a lot about this and quite a lot about the organisation. Um, and... Adrian, who's joined us on stage, is also going to take us through progress with the current strategy. Many of you will be aware that we launched a strategy a few months back to take us to 2022. And <clears throat> it was really important to us that we embarked on that journey on your behalf. It's actually about making USAIS as relevant and responsive to your needs. We are a membership organisation. It is your organisation. And this is why I'm going to tell you a little bit about USAISA, just to remind us of all the places that we, that we get engaged in and get involved with. Um, the USAISA executive is the place where a number of us uh, from across the sector support what I call the powerhouse of USAISA, which is the groups. Um, we have several groups. I'll run through them briefly for you. Um, we have a corporate information systems group, a digital capabilities group, a digital education group, an infrastructure group, a networking group, projects and change management, uh, a support services group, and a newly uh, uh, <coughs> formed, or not formed, but we are supporting a newly formed USAISA London group. But we also have many communities of practice, an example of which is um, our enterprise architecture community of practice, which is doing some fantastic work um, in the enterprise architecture area. And, and I call them the powerhouse of the, of the organisation because it's important to recognise that there's about 60 universities represented on all of those groups. And their job and their working as part of the strategy to, is to reach out to the membership. And they had a fantastic year this year. They've done something like 40 plus events, um, uh, seminars, webinars, uh, conferences like this for the individual groups. And they make a huge difference to the practitioner community as well as us as leaders. And I wanted to recognise their contribution. This is not um, a, a group of people who are, who are paid to do this. This is volunteers from right across the sector. And, and they make a massive contribution to our understanding, our best practice, and our future thinking. And, and I think you're going to hear an awful lot more from them in the next year to 18 months. So watch out for that. Um, <clears throat> I did mention that we have a a new strategy. The strategy is of course supported by a dedicated but small uh, uh, staff complement and uh, Adrian will pick up a little bit about this going forward but the staff are there to help the executive and the groups execute all those activities that we're involved in. So I'm going to leave you with a couple of messages. The first one is um, uh, encourage your staff to get involved with the groups and the groups will be reaching out the best way they possibly can in order to get their information and their toolkits and their events and webinars down to the practitioner level where they can really make a difference. Um, um, so encourage your staff to be involved. And as leaders, um, uh, we're going to try and do much more uh, f for us as a group in the coming year, in the year to 18 months, around just communicating better with you and just strengthening that bond between, between us, the volunteers on USAISA, USAISA and its staff, and, and all of you. So thank you and welcome. Um, I'm 
slightly relieved to see you here after the weather closed in last week. So <laughs> um, I was assured by Sue and Peter in the USI's offices that the sun would shine in. Hey, <laughs> good job. All right, so I'm going to hand you over to Adrian now, and, and he'll talk, take us through the progress with the current strategy. Thank you. David, thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, hopefully, you've all seen the new strategy. And if you haven't and you want a copy, there are some hard copies on the USIZA desk in the foyer. And it's also on our website. So our strategy was published last November and sets out our bold strategy uh, for 2022, um, set around four key goals. And I'll talk about those in just a moment. But most importantly, the strategy was devised by you, the membership, for the membership. And you told us we were starting from a good place, which is very encouraging, but we want to get better still. So I'm going to spend a few moments this afternoon just going through those four uh, key goals and talk about some of the things that we've done already and some of the things that we're going to do in order to bring this strategy to life. So I'm going to start, actually, with goal number four, to optimize the organization of USIZA to support the delivery of that strategy. And you might say, well, why am I starting with the last one? Well, it's quite simple. Our strategy is only as good as our ability to implement it. At the AGM here last March, well, not here, but in South Wales last March, you approved the investment that we needed to kick-start the delivery of taking our strategy forward. And on the back of that investment, we've recruited some new talent into the USIZA team. And it's still a small team, but we bolstered it, particularly around finance, around marketing, and around business analysis and project management. And that's given us a very sure footing now to start making some things happen. We've also had a very hard look at our governance. And I hope you'll, as many of you as possible will join us at our AGM tomorrow afternoon because we'll be bringing some important proposals to that AGM, um, again, to enable us to deliver the strategy. We've also put together a detailed and costed plan of all the activities that underpin the delivery of that strategy, certainly within the next 12 to 18 months, and of course that will continue to evolve. And it's going to require further investment, but there'll be more about that from uh, Dean and colleagues tomorrow at the AGM. So while on goal four, I just wanted to say a few words about the USIZA London Group. So supported by LMN, that's the London Metropolitan Network, um, it's got off to an excellent start and is the first of our regional groups. And this is something we want to be able to do more of. Um, Drew Cook, our vice chair, has been working with all the group chairs, the groups that David talked about just a few moments ago, to better coordinate the group activities and to try and encourage more cross-group events um, and you'll be seeing more of those as we go forward. So that's goal number four. Let me go right back to the beginning and talk about goal number one. So we want to become the expert voice in the use of digital technologies in education. Now we've started work on refreshing the USIZA brand and USIZA is much more than just its logo. We want to be honest, inclusive, and relevant. We're here to support you, the membership. We are promoting debate, and we're raising the profile of USIZA further. We've been publishing blog posts, for example, deliberately designed to provoke and stimulate some input. Um, you'll get one from me coming out later this week. So please do comment on it. And actually, this is a call for volunteers. Anyone who wants to have a voice, please let us know. We'd be delighted to support you in producing the next blog post. Um, 
we've been running a series, well, as David said, 40 events last year. I'd like to highlight just one from last month. Um, jointly with JISC, we ran a two-day free developer event, and we've had some really positive feedback from that. So going on to goal two, we want to grow the membership and make it much more easier for you to engage with, with us. And on that, Elaine Swift is reviewing our membership categories. We want to uh, strengthen support for individual members and absolutely want to reach out to those that are in more junior roles within our organisations. We also want to grow our FE membership. So it's not just about universities, it's about colleges and education more broadly. And I'm delighted to say that we've got some delegates from at least two FE colleges here this afternoon. So welcome. We want to work better, of course, with our corporate members as well. And certainly events like this are not possible without their support. And today, I want to announce the start of our Youth Size and Mentoring Scheme, where we aim to be able to connect uh, those seeking some support and career development with mentors um, who can help them in their journey forward. And actually, to kick that off, we would very much like to hear from any of you who are prepared to act as a mentor. And if you want to make yourself known to any of these, the uh, USISA Executive Committee or at the USISA front desk, we'd be delighted to hear from you. So goal three is all, all about offering more membership benefits. Now, one of the, the biggest benefits that I think we've been able to roll out to, to members is through the bursary scheme. And announced just this last week, that scheme is in its fifth year. And USISA will fund members to attend events globally and then reflect back um, those learning points to the rest of our membership. So applications are open now, so I'd encourage all of you, please, to take this back to your, uh, your teams, your organisations, um, and let's get as many uh, nominations and applications in as possible. The closing date is the 4th of April. So we've got more toolkits and guides coming out this year, um, starting very soon with a GDPR guide, very timely, I'm sure we're all thinking about GDPR, um, but others to come throughout the year will be on reviewing VLEs, um, IT communication, and on business analysis as well. And finally, under goal three, I wanted to say something about our website. We know it needs an overhaul. We've been saying it for a long time. And I'm pleased to announce that um, with some of the support from the new members of the team, that project is now well underway and it will enable much better engagement um, with memberships, being, being able to give you the opportunity to seek advice, to connect you with the ex expertise that is our membership, and hopefully get the answers to the questions that you need. And that will be delivered this year. Oh, I'm rough. my notes are going all over the place here. Um, <laughs> it's because I'm using paper, you see. This, Heidi said you should be using electronic. Right. So, um, no, I've definitely got my, right, I'll wing it. Um, so <laughs> th those, are the, those are the goals in summary. Now, what we want to do is, in true Apple style here, if you've ever heard an Apple keynote, um, we were so proud about our USISA that we decided to put a video together and uh, we'd like to show it to you. Our universities and colleges are engaged in a never-ending pursuit of excellence. Excellence in learning and teaching. Excellence in research. Excellence in knowledge sharing. IT and its effective use is fundamental to student and research success. It's here that our community, the institutions and individual members of USISA are so vital 
to shaping all of our ambitions. IT services are fundamental to the success of any business in the modern age. The need to connect academics, students, research, the need to have an IT department that can serve all those needs is vital. The education and particularly the higher education community is a real collaborative community. USISA provides that community and framework so that we can talk and share ideas and problems and concerns with others that do the same role elsewhere. USISA's strategy to 2022 now strengthens our collective position as the voice of IT in education. The members also wanted help in highlighting and gaining additional recognition for the value we all add. I have a need as an IT director um, to make sure that, that our entry level staff um, develop. USISA helps me by helping to develop the services and the network around those services that we provide for our students. USISA is all about its membership. So the strategy has been produced for members, by members. And it's pleasing to know that we're building from a position of strength. We're always listening and we always welcome more feedback. We're three months into what is a strategy built around the input from our membership from right across the sector. Let's look at the four priorities that underpin the strategy and the progress that we're making so far in some more detail. The four goals are, the first, to become the expert voice in the use of digital technologies in education. The second, grow the membership and make it easier to engage with USISA. The third, offer further membership benefits. And the fourth, optimise the organisation of USISA to support effective strategy delivery. We know from the feedback gathered through the strategy that the current services and facilities that USISA offer are greatly valued and appreciated. However, USISA wants to go further. We want to extend the best practice toolkits to take in as much of the sector challenges as possibly we can. We also feel it's important that we make it as easy as possible to engage with USISA and importantly each other. Our strategy is of course running to 2022, but importantly some of those elements are actually happening right now. So in relation to goal one, this is about us raising our profile. What we're inviting people to do here and what we'll be supporting in USISA is that profile raising, that showing off a little bit, showcasing what we do, telling people how good we are, whether that's through social media or white papers, discussion boards, blogs are obviously very something very, very well read. So we're very willing to support people in USISA office with marketing, supporting people. You know, how do I even start a blog? What content do I put on it? Um, yeah, go for it, guys. Well, goal two is all about engaging the membership down to an individual level. And one of the things we're looking to do there is to launch a mentoring scheme as a pilot we're going to grow that uh, in future years, but also look at um, a lightweight scheme where uh, individuals can gain support from those willing to provide it, a sort of buddying scheme for, for individuals. Goal 3 is all about USISA offering further membership benefits, a refresh of the USISA website, an environment that allows and facilitates peer-to-peer -peer collaboration, with USISA creating the, the infrastructure to allow that to happen. The bursary scheme is a fantastic idea. USISA is keen to widen the bursary scheme and really encourage those that may not have participated in the past. The bursary allowed me to go to a conference in Liverpool for information professionals. Definitely apply for a bursary no matter where you are in your career, put in an application because you might be one of the lucky ones that gets it. It was really great to network with other individuals from other universities from both Australia and New Zealand and get to see how they're dealing with AB. The goal four, we've uh, strengthened the team by adding specialist marketing, project management and finance uh, knowledge so that we can concentrate on particular areas, promoting our resources and making sure that we've got the budget uh, in place for each of those individual projects. We're looking to build on the success of the London Group by identifying further opportunities for engagement at regional level to ensure that we facilitate good collaboration amongst individuals in their various regions. USISA is a collaborative, member-driven organisation dedicated to supporting the people who make digital technology work. Let's quickly hear about how USISA is supporting some of our members. USISA is a good place for me to meet people who do my job and meet the people who do the jobs I want to do. 
and that helps me advance in my career. New Sizer produces tremendous resources. I've recently been reviewing their social media toolkit, which has been an excellent resource. Uh, and also, I'm really looking forward this year to going to the Cybersecurity Survival Guide event in Birmingham. It's one of the best events I go to all year. And I found the annual support services group conferences invaluable for sharing good practice. Sizer helped put us in contact with other universities who have similar systems to what we do, and we can share our experiences. Well done, New Sizer. Keep up the good work. New Sizer! Wasn't that marvellous? Isn't it dreadful seeing yourself on the screen, though? <laughs> you think, no, I don't look like that. So the first one, thing I wanted to say about that video is that that um, required an awful lot of communication and an awful lot of participation, um, people filming, getting people along. So I just wanted to say a thank you to everybody who was involved in that. And can I also say, it's really hard to do that piece to camera. It is just terrifying. So when you see the professionals do it, there is definitely a skill in that one. But that's great. So our Apple start to the conference. So my job here is just to say a little bit about um, what's going to happen over the next few days. And I want to lay down a challenge to you. So when I was thinking about this program, what I was thinking about was leadership, us in the room, leading, doing different and sometimes difficult things. So I wanted to have speakers from both within and outside the sector. So my challenge is this, there's three things I want people to do um, at this conference. The first thing I want them to do is to speak to somebody they don't know. So we've already heard about um, people with green badges being you, but you might have been coming to these events for years, but you've never spoken to somebody from the University of Sussex, for example. Challenge number one is go and speak to somebody you don't know. The next challenge is go to a talk that you wouldn't normally go to. So we all live in this sort of comfort zone. If you go to things that you know about a little bit, I want you to challenge you to go to something you wouldn't normally. Challenge number two. Challenge number three is to take something back to your workplace and do something different when you get back to work. And I want you to tweet about that, if you can, under the hashtag of one new thing. Okay? So that's a challenge to you all. Um, because we often come to these events and we do talk to the same people, we do go to the same stands with the suppliers, I want you to do something a little bit different this time. Okay? So, that's setting the scene for the conference. My job now is to introduce our first speaker.